Well, the Galaxy S20 phones are official and they're bringing huge improvements, not just in the hardware, but a loads of really cool software feature upgrades too. Starting off, we have 120 Hertz refresh rates in all three of the phones, leaked for so, so long and confirmed at the unpacked event. This could be the top feature on the list. It is absolutely incredible. And I fully recommend you go into the settings and change it to 120 Hertz as soon as you get it out of the box. Samsung importantly have included a 240 Hertz touch sampling rate on these screens as well. That means everything you do is going to react so quickly to your touches and it's going to make the entire phone feel so much quicker and more responsive than any improvements in the hardware, the processor or anything like that. We had a leak of something called single take mode before the launch event and yes indeed this did come. Samsung are giving this feature whereby you can go into single take mode and let Samsung's AI take videos and photos for you. This is a really great feature of getting not just video but photos all at the same time. You can just point your phone at your friends and the Galaxy S20 Ultra will take care of the rest. Let's see how good the S20 Ultra is at doing this. But according to Samsung, the AI knows the exact best time to take a bunch of images and also give you the video at the same time. There's lots of upgrades internally that are really boring and don't make headlines but actually are really important to make this one of the best phones you can get. The S20 Ultra supports up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. That is literally unbelievable in a smartphone and is more than most computers. Having lots of RAM doesn't make the phone quicker or faster, but the more apps that you have, the more apps that you use. And as time goes on and each app adds way more features, they become more and more hungry for RAM. So the fact we've got 16 gigabytes literally means you don't ever have to worry about shutting down down an app ever again. Not to mention the base model coming with 128 gigabytes of storage. Apple, are you listening to that spec? We need this much storage these days with the brand new higher megapixel cameras, higher resolution video. Having a base of 128 gigabytes means you never have to worry about loading all of your favorite apps and having space left over. Not to mention that the S20 Ultra supports an SD card, so you can expand the storage up to an literally insane one terabyte within this smartphone. The zoom in mic feature makes its way over from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This has a special dedicated mic on the back of the phone. And when you're recording video, you can zoom in and out on the screen with the zoom in mic feature to isolate different people's audio. This was on the Note 10 Plus and actually is a really cool feature that can help the audio quality when you are taking videos. The Galaxy S20 Ultra supports 45 watt fast charging, but it's not just about the amount of watts. Galaxy phones have always come out very well against the competition in terms of the amount of time it takes to charge a battery from 0 to 100%. An area which I'm really bummed and disappointed about is that Samsung are still not giving us the charger in the box. There are a ton of rumors and leaks saying that this year Samsung were finally going to give us the 45 watt charger in the box with the S20 Ultra. But unfortunately, this was one of the very few rumors that we got that actually didn't turn out to be true. Charging speeds are definitely not slow and it may be a choice for them to give us a slightly slower charging speed to preserve the battery and probably get better battery life overall over the long term. There's also a 40 megapixel main camera on this phone. No headphone jack, it's been taken away. And actually the S20 Ultra uses some slightly more premium materials in the build. It's a big phone and it needs to be solid. So how about the best feature on this phone? Well, this is for me the second best feature and it would be the best feature on any phone hands down. But in the Galaxy S20 Ultra, it takes number two spot for me. 100 times space zoom. We got loads of leaks about this and it all turned out to be correct. You can get 100 times zoom range in the S20 Ultra. Samsung have done it by using a periscope zoom camera plus a high megapixel image sensor, which they crop onto to achieve this crazy zoom length. The camera app seamlessly ranges in and out of those focal lengths with virtually no stutter or lag. Samsung should be given a lot of credit for creating such a smooth camera app through all of those different lenses, cameras, and focal lengths. We have to admit though that at 100x, the photos and images are blurry to say the least. So if that isn't the number one spot, then what is? 
It's just the fact that Samsung are using this brand new 108 megapixel sensor that takes unbelievable images. Most people are just gonna point and shoot and take images of the main sensor. And the images just look so good because the sensor is so much bigger than before. Samsung say this sensor is almost three times bigger than the previous generations in their other products. The photos look absolutely amazing and there's a feature called Bright Night. Because the camera sensor is so big, it can just absorb so much more light information. Samsung can use it to give such good images in so many different lighting conditions. So let me know what your favorite features are and what you're looking forward to when you get your hands on the Galaxy S20 Ultra or the other two phones if you're gonna go for those. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.